A New England store is like a time machine. CBS This Morning contributor Lee Woodruff shows us how one store's loyal customers continue to indulge in the pleasures of a simpler and slower America. Its famous mail order catalog attracts customers from all around the world. Weston, Vermont, population 600, is the unlikely home of one of the state's top tourist attractions. 135. A third generation family owned country store that's in the business of selling nostalgia. Bye. Bye. What's your definition of a country store? A country store was a place that you would go into in these small communities. 150 years ago, you didn't have the internet. And you would go to the country store to get just about anything that you needed. In 1946, the Ortons started the Vermont Country Store catalog. And when the orders began rolling in, the Ortons opened a storefront. Almost 70 years later, the desire for hard to find old fashioned products is now a mega million dollar business. What was your grandfather's goal when he set the store up initially? You know, not all that uh, different than what our goal is today in helping to revive products uh, from long ago. Customers of the Vermont Country Store keep coming back for their old favorites, and occasionally, their demand for a product has actually brought it back from extinction. I think big sellers are usually ones that, that customers connect with. Products like our Tangi lipstick, which is another product that brings back great memories for our customers. That's a product that we actually own. Another product that was went extinct. It went extinct. It was and you... no longer available. Um, we started to... Uh, to work with a company to, to manufacture it. It has a different, sort of a different shade depending on your skin tone and, and body temperature. We call it the, the mood ring for your lips. Let's see what the happens. The drum roll. Okay, it goes from orange to, oh, oh my looks, gosh, it's turning pink. That's a pretty the nice store thing. and the catalog like appeal to the young and the old. Another part of the country store's success, tour buses. I think history is a, a huge part of why people come to Vermont and we have busloads of customers that come from England and Vermont is really feels to them like old America. Oh, it's so cute, you know? Or maybe yeah. quintessential New England. The store proudly resists any urge to update its clothing to fit current trends. Most of the products are, well, sensible. Yeah. And this is one of your best sellers. One of it the is. best. Yeah. It's enduring. It's a timeless product. Nothing and says chaste and pure like a Lance nightgown, right? It's like a New England winter. Housemade creams, lotions, and tonics fill the shelves of the store's remedy section. There's yes. some really cool, bizarre, old-fashioned remedies for things there that are. you don't think about so much anymore. Bunion corrector, right? Yes. So. In this era of Amazon and the internet where you can touch a button and get everything, what do you what do you think it is about the Vermont Country Store that just keeps people coming back? You walk in and you feel at home and you feel a connection to it and you feel a time-honored tradition that's there, uh, almost a, a, a smell and a, and a feeling that it's it's been here forever and that no matter what you need, you can find it here. A tradition that the Orton oh, yeah. brothers yeah, aren't minute, about to change. Went. For CBS yeah. This Morning, yeah. Lee Woodruff, Speaking Weston, Vermont. That's great. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting that they bring some of these old products back to life because the nostalgia is still there for them. People still want them. It's amazing. It's fantastic.